Now, the work is already beginning to reunite immigrant families separated at the border, and one local shelter is helping that happen. News Channel 9's Tatiana Favela is in downtown El Paso to tell us how one local nonprofit is leading, lending a helping hand. The first group of immigrant parents arrived here at the Annunciation House in downtown El Paso yesterday, still hoping to find their children. It is so important that the legal community has been trying to come together to give these people a meaningful chance at justice and at pursuing their cases. The Annunciation House receiving 32 parents originally detained for trying to enter the country illegally, making their arrival by bus and Border Patrol units. Those charges since withdrawn when President Trump reversed his family separation policy, now they're hoping to reunite with their children, even though they have no idea where they currently are. The government currently is not making any sort of efforts to ensure that either the parent or the child knows where each other is. Melissa Lopez, executive director of the Diocesan Migrant and Refugee Services, says the current system that's in place right now for parents finding their children is a 1-800 number. The mechanism that the government has created for parents to find their kids, um, the telephone number that they set up is not working. If we bring in 30 cell phones and call that number, they're not going to be able to reach their children and they're not going to be able to talk to their children. Parents choosing to stay in the U.S. still have to wait for their case to be heard by an immigration judge. But organizations like DMRS and Annunciation House are continuing to fight for both adults and kids being held in detention and preparing them once they're out. That they're educated once they're released. The director of the Annunciation House says this is the first step in the fight to stop family separation in our country. The outpouring of offers of support the legal community across the country, um, I think is going to help ensure that that is the case. The Annunciation House says six of the 32 parents staying here will be speaking to the media at 2.30 this afternoon. We'll tell you what they have to say throughout the day on air and online. Live in downtown El Paso, Tatiana Favela, News Channel 9.